I've been testing laptops for a while now, and one of the things that stood out about MacBooks is that their speaker systems tend to be quite a bit better. But over the past three or four years, that difference has just gone bigger and bigger. And it's gone to the point where now Windows laptops, their speakers are starting to straight up suck by comparison. So this is what one of the better Windows laptops sound like. And this is what the current 16 inch MacBook Pro sounds like. Hopefully you can hear the difference between those two devices, but that's the problem with recorded audio like this. It's gonna depend on the mic that I use to record it from and the listening device you're using, like whether you're using headphones or speakers and the quality of that stuff. There's a lot of stuff that affects what that sounded like for you. So it's not a great representation of what's actually going on. So I picked up a calibrated measurement mic. And this is a tool I can use to measure and quantify this stuff. So to understand what we're doing here, this is a frequency spectrum of what you were just listening to. Down here in this section, these are the low frequencies. So your thumpy bass, uh, some deeper instruments. This is the good stuff. And then a little higher up, we have the mids. So vocals and a lot of instruments are over here. And then at the top of the range, you have the highs. And there's a lot of brighter percussion up here. So cymbals and stuff. And audio usually sounds best when you can hear all of it. So using this reference mic, I measured the frequency response of a lot of the laptops I have in the studio. And this one in particular is one of the better ones. This is a six speaker setup. It's got force canceling speakers, similar to what Apple has with their new MacBooks. And this is its frequency response. So this chart represents the measured volume that the speakers can produce at the different frequencies. So these are the lows, the mids, and the highs. And on this particular laptop, the mids are decent. The upper end isn't great, but the lower frequencies are really bad. This device has a really tough time producing any of the sounds down here. But this is the frequency response of the current 16 inch MacBook Pro, and it's a way better speaker system. We have a pretty flat response overall. We have a better representation of the lower frequencies, and it doesn't die off as quickly at the top end. It's just a better speaker overall. But what does this all mean? Okay, let's have a listen to this. If I kill off the high and mid frequencies, this is what this Windows laptop can produce in that lower range. You can't hear that much, but this is what that 16 inch MacBook sounds like in that same range. There's just a lot more detail down there on the MacBook. So if you're listening to music or any kind of audio that takes advantage of lower frequencies, like EDM or just most music has sound down there. If you have a bad speaker system, you're just missing out at a huge chunk of that audio spectrum. And the same kind of thing happens at the top end. So on the Windows laptop, it just falls off a lot earlier, so you lose some detail in that upper range. But the biggest difference audibly is gonna come from that mid to low range section that just does not sound good on the majority of Windows laptops. These devices tend to have a really tough time producing sounds in that frequency range. And you end up with laptops that just sound bad. And here's the crazy thing. This one here on this plot is actually one of the better ones I tested. So this is how the XPS 15 stacks up. And this is the Zephyrus G15. This is the XPS 17, the Razorblade 15. None of these are even remotely close to what the 16 inch MacBook Pro can produce. But it's not just the 16 inch Pro that's better. The current 13 inch Pro has great speakers. And even the 15 inch MacBook Pro from four years ago has better sounding speakers than all of those devices. And that's the thing I don't get. How is it that Windows just doesn't care about this? Or maybe they do care and they can't fix it? Like, they must be aware of this. All of these Windows laptops manufacturers, they have to be acutely aware of how far ahead Apple is. Like, you know what, they're testing this stuff too. I'm not the only person. They probably have anechoic chambers and way better mics to test this stuff. They're sticking it in, they're seeing their devices like falling short, and it is mind boggling that they can't make it better. And as a Windows laptop enthusiast, it's almost embarrassing that the gap is so big. Like how are there gaming laptops and creative devices that just have terrible speakers in comparison to like a 13 inch MacBook Pro? It's super weird. The most impressive device to me, honestly, is actually the 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019. Super thin chassis with an amazing sound profile. It's kind of weird that they're able to produce that kind of sound on such a thin device when Windows laptops are like triple the thickness, can't even do it. Now, there is one exception to this whole thing about Windows laptops. It's kind of like an anomaly. So 
I was sent the 17 inch Razer Blade Pro and this has a brand new speaker system this year. It's an eight speaker array and I had to wait quite a while for software to be updated and for them to tweak stuff to be able to bring life to the speakers that they thought was representative of what they wanted this device to be. And they're great speakers, but it's still not as good as a MacBook, but this is the closest that anyone has ever gotten to catching up with Apple. Now, I don't think this is representative of the average Windows laptop experience. Like this is a single product that's been able to pull it off and it's quite a bit ahead of seemingly all the other Windows laptops that I've tested. But I do think that it is hopeful that the Windows laptop experience can kind of catch up. I mean, if Razer could do it on one device, they should be able to do it with others as well, I hope. But until then, the MacBooks have such a big lead in the audio department. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time.